Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to talk about the different ways you can search for records in GeoPoint. Um, the first search uh, we're going to cover is nearby search. Um, this search ties in nicely um, with your location services. Um, so, you know, the moment you log in, you know, the, the browser is going to pick up your current location. So if you wanted to search records around you, just make sure nearby search is selected um, and set the appropriate range. Um, and then click the, the data set um, that you want to search for. Um, you can also change your location. So let's say you're planning a trip to Las Vegas um, and you're wanting to change uh, the location you're searching from. You can, um, can easily do that. Um, by utilizing this uh, this address places search so you click there on the magnifying glass and go ahead and uh, type in the place you're wanting to search from that'll change your your location and then you can just you know refresh the data set um, and it will update that for you um, uh, next uh, one we're going to talk about is uh, shape search um, our shape search option is great for visualizing your records within the confines of a geographical area uh, so you can draw a shape on the map and then do a search um, either by just having this uh, shape uh, search selected and clicking on the data set or you can left click on the data set um, and do the search from there uh, other option we have is our GeoShape library. Uh, the GeoShape library can be accessed by clicking on the plus button uh, and just adding um, kind of shapes from there. Or you can click on the little world on the right hand side. Uh, so let's go ahead and create a GeoShape real quick. Um, if we know the name of the shape uh, we want to work with, uh, we can just search for that. So, you know, I'll just search for California and then uh, drill down um, to, the, uh, to the zip code level. Uh, so in this case, I know I want to work with um, zip codes, uh, 928 zip codes. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit enter, and that'll add all of them. You can also check them individually, um, but in this case, I know my range. So um, yeah, and just go ahead and give it a name. And save and add to map. I'll go ahead and add it, click on my layers, and then just zoom in, and that'll take me to that uh, zip code shape I just created. And then from here, I could just run a search um, within that shape. And the next search we have is map view. It's pretty straightforward. It's just going to search the viewable area. And uh, next, everywhere, that's just going to search the whole world. Okay. All right. So that is all for now. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.